Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SWS Showdown. I am your commentator for tonight, Vice, and yes, it's the same Vice that you see on Uprising, or the same Vice that you see team up with Wayne Level to be the cleaners. And tonight, we are starting off SWF with Youngblood versus Crane. Now, if my paper <laughs> lets me know and is correct, um, I believe so, and yes, yes it is. Crane is actually, or I'm excuse me, Youngblood is actually one and two, while Crane is, um, hmm. is one and one. So both of these guys are actually on the losing streak as of late, and it seems that both of these guys have something to prove. And you know that's. This is the match to do it right here with both of them not doing so well right now. But hey, that's why we have SWF Showdown. So, the reason why I'm commentating tonight. Jackson Montgomery and CM Punk both approached me and asked me if I would want a chance to show what I have. Not just in the ring, but also at the table. And I said, you know what, give me one chance. And I said, alright, and we're going to let the fans vote. If I do well this week and you guys enjoy this commentary, let us know in the comment section below or tweet us at SWFederation underscore 2K and we will make a decision hopefully by the next SWF showdown. As you see here, we have Youngblood making his way to the ring and man oh man I do love this attire. Um, his theme song is amazing as well, I don't know if you guys can hear it very well because you know it's blasting here in this arena but we're here. We are here. So, like I was saying, so basically I have only this one chance to do it right. And I'm hoping you guys are enjoying my commentary. I know I just started, but you know, I'm here. I'm here and I'm ready to make an impact. Not just in the ring with my tag partner and in my singles career, but also at the commentary table, baby. So, we also have now making his way to the ring. Crane. And Crane, if you hear his theme song, he's got a little old vibe to it. And I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. You know, um, I'm a, most commentators, they, you know, they usually have their special drink with them. And my special drink is some iced tea. Because who doesn't like iced tea? You know what I'm saying? So let me get a little, a little sip. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ain't that good, people. Woo! So, everyone. I know, as of late, my singles career has not been going so well. But my tag team, you know, well, we're still undefeated. So if any tag team, and I mean any tag team, wants to challenge us on any show, we will be there. And we will show you guys what it is. But enough about me. We got young boy. Crane, one on one, starting off the showdown tonight, and it looks like both of these men are ready to prove to me and the rest of the ro rosters, or superstars, excuse me, that they know how to take, they know how to walk it like they talk it. You feel me? So let's have the ref ring the bell, and let's get this match underway. Okay, we got Young Blood taking control. And he's just tossing, tossing Crane right now. Seems like he's gonna target that that right arm of his. Now it looks like he's going for a underhook. Oh my god, a underhook gut buster! And then kicking him in the back. That was a stiff kick, man. Throwing him to the ropes. Going for a tiger suplex. Or, um, excuse me, a dragon suplex. A snapdragon, to be exact. And, oh my gosh, Crane comes back with a strong clothesline, people. And it seems that he's, he's going to show uh, Youngblood a little something-something about going about people's arms. As he got him in a little predicament. <laughs> and he's going to stomp on that arm like it's nothing. And then stomp on the back of his head. 
tossing him to the ropes. Oh my God! Young Buck catches him and twirls him around and slams right on him in his back on in the middle of the ring and then kicks him in the back of the head. Stomping on his face. Oh, that has to hurt, especially with that scar that Crane has on his face. I wonder what that's from. Uh oh. Running to the turnbuckle pad and then going to the middle of the ring with a slam of his own and I'm going for the pain. pin. Excuse me. One. Only a one pound count for Youngblood. Going for the knees to the face. Or, excuse me, the chest. Now put him in a triangle choke. Well, will Crane tap? No, Crane gets out of that pretty quickly to be accent. Actually. Ooh, not letting Youngblood catch his breath at all. Going for a reverse DDT. Now targeting that, that same left arm again. I know that, that situation right there has to hurt. Especially, f oh, and Youngblood gets out of the way and runs back in. Not letting Crane catch his breath, but Crane's ready. Giving him those shots and then, oh my gosh. Crane is showing people, showing everyone here that he knows what to do. He's walking it like he talks to people. Now he's targeting the lower back of Youngblood. Oh, he's going for a springboard and he connects people. Uh-oh. What's he going for? And he's going for a nice gut buster. Oh, Youngblood, he's rolling under the ring. Or under the rope, excuse me. Smart tactic by him. Maybe not too smart as Crane gives him a right. It. Wow. These two. I would not want to step in the ring with these two. Actually, you know what? I actually kind of do. I'm going to set that challenge. Whoever wins this match, if you want to see me, you can see me. What is he going for? Was he? Oh my god! A devastating neckbreaker to the outside of the ring! Oh my god. God, oh, and he throws into the ring pose. You guys got to get back in the ring. We're at four, I believe. And we're both back. They're both back in the ring now. Youngblood is now taking control, but it looks like Crane found him and got a reverse DDT. Oh, no. No, he's not. Oh, my goodness. That pile driver was kind of deadly. One, two, and only a two count. I honestly thought he had it after that stiff pile driver that he landed. Oh man, it looks like Crane setting up young blood boys and girls. What is he going for? And oh my God, that face buster. One, two. Oh my God, young blood showing his. Right. He has determination, people, and I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, Crane is not happy, not at all, and he's going for a drop kick to the back. He's really targeting that back of Youngblood. That back and his uh, no, head portion of the body of Youngblood has been the main target, and Youngblood reverses with a DDT. Oh my god, and Crane with a clothesline, people. He's just stomping on that torso. Snapping him. Kicking him in the back again. And going for a pin one. Two. Another two. Another two count. Crane, you gotta do a little bit more than that, man. Come on. And a reversal, he arm drags Crane. And oh my god, the Pele kick by Youngblood! Jeez! Oh my god, Crane just getting laid out and basically got sad. Now he's targeting that left leg of Crane's, which is smart. Because if you if you target a leg and he can barely stand, he can't really hit his powerful moves. And oh, what is, what is this? Oh my god! A I don't even know what that would be called, but that was beautiful, people. One, two, three, 
two, three, and Youngblood picks up the win over Crane. That's beautiful. I am proud of Youngblood. And like I said earlier in the match, whoever wins this match, I challenge them to the, a match next week on SWF Showdown. So, Youngblood, if you do accept, I'll see you in the ring next week. <laughs> so, that was a perfect match. As you see here, we have some replays for everyone. And he tries to get a three, but of course Youngblood kicks out. Youngblood was showing the strength and that beautiful pillow kick. And that was the beginning of the end for Crane. And then he ends off with this beautiful tossing neck breaker and ends off the match. Congratulations, Youngblood, on the win. And wow, I can't. I hope you accept my challenge and I see you next week in the ring. That was a wonderful match by those two men, and neither men should be disappointed in how this match went. Both fought strong. Wow. Now, people, we do have. Look, wow. Well, that. We do have three other matches tonight. And two of them are women's matches. While Youngblood is, you know, celebrating, I'm going to talk about the other, other matches. Well, the next match, to be exact. So, from checking the SWF Federation website, if you haven't been there, it is SWF or SWFederation.com. Which we, do. if you want to, you know, check it out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. You can check me out. Um, but yeah. So we have, I believe this is. I actually do not know who this is. Sorry, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm not. You know, I don't have my cards right. This is unprofessional for me. I hope you guys bear with me and hopefully you guys are enjoying the commentary. Uh, I'm actually trying to check right now. See what is their records. If they do have any records, you feel me? You feel me? Actually, you know what? We're not even going to worry about the records because you know what? It does not matter because you get a clean slate with me. I should have just said that. You know what? You get a clean slate with me. And now we have the next competitor coming out, which I'm guessing is Danielle Jean. And oh, okay, starting off strong with a, a beautiful, uh, yes it is, Danielle Jean. So that means we have P Pasadena. I believe that's how I'm saying. If I'm mis saying your name, please let me know and I will fix it next time. But we do have Danielle Jean coming out with Star. Did you see that that cartwheel? I and I, I can't do that. So I. I applaud you. You know what I'm saying? I applaud you. Ah, these beautiful women, man. I can't wait to see this woman's action start off. And look, look oh my god, how is she? She gotta teach me how to do this after do that after the after the show tonight, because man oh man. That's beautiful. All right, so we have Pesadena. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. And uh, Danielle Jane going off for the second match of Showdown. And man, oh man, this, I'm hoping this uh, this women's match is going to do some wonders. This is actually not the only women's match we have tonight. We also have Princess going against Nina Letter. So Pasadena, Danielle Jane, let's get this match on the road, people. And they look like they're about to lock up, but. <laughs> Jane said, nah, I'm going to go with the young jawbreaker. And now targeting that, in that face area of Pen Pasadena. Pasadena not having any of that. She arm drags uh, Danielle Jane and then goes for her own jawbreaker. <clears throat> and now she's strutting her stuff, people, in the middle of the ring. That's not for... Oh! Oh my god, excuse me. <laughs> Danielle Jane trying to go for a beautiful integrate, but she misses, and Pasadena goes for a beautiful suplex. And then gives her a slap while she's kneeling. What? Ref! Ref! So when I do it, it's an issue, but when Pasadena 
takes off the turnbuckle pad, it's it's okay. I think we need new refs because that's foolish. But anyway, oh, a nice crucifix by Pasadena, and now she's wh she whipping her hair back and forth, people. Throwing her to the ropes. Oh, and she tried to go for a kick, but Jane was not having it. And she tried. She now just showing off her kicks and her her elbows. Look at that. Oh, and a beautiful hurricanrana by Danielle Jane. Going for a, a nice dragon suplex. I thought she was gonna go for a pin right after it. Um, I hopefully. Both of these women know that that turnbuckle pad at the bottom right is exposed, and honestly, that does help the match. Just saying, just you know, she oh, and she goes for a beautiful tornado DDT reverse. I don't even know what would you call that, but yeah, stretch your stuff, girl. You out here showing your thing, showing me a little stuff I got to the arsenal. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Pasadena go, oh, and a running. Shoulder block to Pasadena. She's now outside of the ring. And she, while wow, Jane tries to go for a drop kick to the back, but she misses. And Pasadena ends up with giving Jane a drop kick of her own. And now we're on the outside, guys, as you can see. And well, I think we're at the one count right now. Ref doesn't seem happy that they're both outside of the ring. I think he wants them back in. But oh my god, did you guys hear that? That was kind of hard. What? Oh my goodness. What is this? And another jawbreaker. Mm. Oh, was that the third jawbreaker we've seen tonight? <laughs> oh my gosh, why is everyone using the ring post? Ref is not happy at all that they're outside the ring. He really wants them back in the ring. Well, it seems that they worked this time because they're both now back in the ring, people. And now, Danielle James going for the pin. One, only a one count. You would think after that ring post, you know, she would not want to get up. But hey. She tried to go for a triangle choke, but Pasadena reverses that, and now is, oh, what is she going for? What is she doing? What is she going for? She going for decapitator! She is taking, targeting that neck. If you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, and the two knee, uh, two knee strikes to uh, Danielle Jean's uh, stomach region. And now targeting the back of the knees. It kind of seems like Pasadena is trying to target every body part. So like she's equally hurting. But it seems as Daniel Jane got her in the single Boston Crab. But it didn't last that long as now there's a pin but it's only a one count. So like I was saying it seems. Oh a nice trade of blows. That she's trying to target. Oh my gosh, these blows are kind of hard, guys. And now a clothesline. But like I was saying, it seems that she's trying to target every single body part. So she's equally hurting. So it's easier for Pasadena to hit her finishing man maneuver, of course. So that's actually a very interesting concept for us. Uh, especially in a women's match because usually they... They usually pull the hair, so they're usually targeting the head as much. But now, as you see, she has her in a chin lock. And, of course, Danielle Jane is now getting out. But it's just the fact that she's targeting different body parts is very interesting to me. And I'm, I'm loving it a lot. And now, she, Danielle Jane gives Pasadena a uh, chin lock of her own. And what we see is uh, uh, a submit. Will we see a tap out? Will we? I don't know. I don't know. What's she doing? Where's she going? She's going top rope. She's going top rope, people. Danielle Jane is going top rope. Pasadena is laid out in the middle of the ring. And she's going for the elbow drop and she connects. She's going for that pin. She's she's got it right here. One, two. Oh what <laughs> Pasadena kicks out at 2.9, people. 2.9. That was beautiful. I didn't know she had enough strength for her. But you know what? I respect that. These competitors tonight are showing me something that I didn't think they had, you know, and that's that's some that's a fighting spirit right there. And now, what what is she going for? 
going for a beautiful shining lizard and like I said don't forget to like leave a like for the video I know you guys do enjoy uh, both SWF uprising you know I'm not I don't care about the other brand because that's not the brand I'm on the best brand is uprising because that's the brand I'm on you know but back to the matches of course oh my god and I'll Powerful and beautiful power bomb by Daniel Jane, and only a two count. Man, man, these women know how to wrestle. I can tell you that. The honor to tumble. It's surprising that no one's used that exposed turnbuckle this entire match. That they've actually avoided it. What is she going for? What is she going for? She's going for a ring pose six one nine. What? Oh my. God this she she uh, thinks she's trying to catch her breath because that after that that would be a little bit tired that's nice I have never seen someone do that before never oh where's she going for a sunset flip and for the pin one two oh and a kick out oh and she tries to go for a kick but the Jane with a reversal dragon whip oh my gosh they're just Fighting. Is this a DDT? It is! Ooh! Beautiful DDT right there. Going for the pin. One. Two. And Daniel Jane kicking out once again, people. Man. These girls are wrestling so well, they gotta make me take a drink. Mm. Did I tell you guys that Ice Tea is amazing? She's going up top again. Is she going for the, the elbow? Is she going for the elbow? She's going for the elbow! One, two, three, and Danielle Jane picks up the win over Pasadena. So, let me reiterate what happened so far. We had Youngblood defeat Crane, and now we have Danielle Jane defeat Pasadena. That was a great match by these two women. Can't wait to see more matches by these two. Definitely be watching out for Danielle Jane because she does seem like a future, and I mean future woman's champion. You know, so that's crazy to see that. Can't believe that actually happened. Or excuse me, I guess I should say maiden's champion. Um, but yes, Danielle Jane keeps celebrating in Irish. That was amazing. That was really amazing. I'm actually in shock. I did not expect that match to do so well. Um, but next match that we have is Princess versus Nina Letter. Uh, it's actually probably going to be a pretty good match from what I've been told. And then the main event that we have tonight is William Parker with James Lonza versus Ryan Adams. So we got we got single we got all singles competition. Oh, okay. Princess Evans. Okay. Okay, I'm liking her theme song. Okay, I want to say something. I might say something after this show tonight, baby. Okay, I'm liking, I'm liking the outfit. You know what I'm saying? It's your ground flow. Hey. All right, all right. So this is Princess coming, who's out here right now. You know, sending her kisses to all of you. And so hopefully to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I've traveled the world, baby. I traveled the world. And I came back because, you know, seeing Puma, Jackson Montgomery was like, hey, invite you. want to come back home? I said, yeah, you know, I'll come back home. So uh, we have Nina Letter coming out. She doesn't see him as, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, man. Okay. All right, she doesn't. She looks like she's she's ready to get down to business. She doesn't seem, as you know, happy to be here. So you know, I'm I'm ready to see this. I'm ready to see this. I'm I'm like I'm liking up the two matches that we've seen so far, and I'm hopefully hopefully this match continues the excitement. For not just for you guys, but for also me, you know what I'm saying? 
Because this was this is fun, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this. Because like I said, this is the only chance I got. If you guys don't like it, well then I guess you guys won't see me here. But unless I, you know, I don't know, break into showdown, you know, or show up and be like, hey, I'm doing commentary. <laughs> but, all right, we got Princess going against Nina Letter. Oh, okay, they showing you know some friendly competition right here. This is what I like to see. Not everything. Uh, uh, what the hell? Okay, they, they, okay, they're gonna lock up. It seems Nina Letter has the advantage so far right now. You know, that's what I like. You know, friendly competition. No, it, it doesn't hurt. It actually makes you better. Me and my tag team partner. Ooh, a nice draw kick by Princess. Me and my tag team partner, Wayne Level, you know, we, we fought each other all over the world. And and we're we're good friends, of course, and only a one count right there, as you can see. We've 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 we are good friends, but we still have that friendly competition between the two of us to strive to make each other better, you know. But man, man oh man, this this is, I love seeing this. Oh, stomp to the back of the head. Another one. I stomps like four times, and oh, and sending that knee right to the spine. And now going for a body splash. That was a beautiful body splash. And now going for another kick to the back. Ooh. A head. A head punch. Princess throwing her to the rope. Ooh, and a beautiful hurricanrana. Put her on her shoulders. What's she going ready for? Ooh! It seems like Prince has been watching Wayne Level wrestle a little bit because that kick was deadly. And that nice suplex to follow up. Man, oh man, she's going for the pin. That might be it. One. Oh, one count. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, she's trying to go for more kicks. I'm liking it. She, I like this girl right here. She's a kicking machine, man. Two arm drags so far. And the boot to face! Ooh, and now I need to a face. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't think that's a smart idea to be, uh, you know, strutting your stuff and when you're, you know, opponent's right there. And oh, ooh, ooh, a punch to the face. She thought she was gonna go for a boss and crap, but she didn't. And oh, but she did come back with the clothesline, people. Oh my goodness. And oh, and a beautiful super kick. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. What's she getting ready for? Oh, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Oh my, that was deadly. One, two. And only a two count. Oh, kicking that. The knee. Oh, and a spear. Spear, spear. One, two. Only a two count? Oh my goodness, guys. That, did you see that spear? That spear was deadly. I ain't never seen a woman do a spear like that. Oh my god, and a beautiful drop kick. Where'd she go? And another drop kick. Uh oh, she got one more. And a, what? Oh my god, and a body splat. Wow, and she's going for the pin. One, two. Only a two count right there, people. Wow. Um. <laughs> Nina Letter? She's a wrecking force, to be honest. She is going to be a wrecking force in the Maiden's Division. I, I did not expect to see a spear coming out of this match at all. And now we got a. Oh. No, we don't. We got a neck breaker. Where, where's Nina Letter going? Had to take a sip, guys. Mm. 
Seems like Nina was running for her life. Princess is not having it, though. She's targeting for the end, I'm hoping. Ooh, and a right hand to the face. To the face. Man. Princess. Wow. That, this is... The main event has to pass it. Oh, oh, and cutting her down. They didn't have to do it like that. Oh, man. She's picking up. She picked her up, and there is a clothesline. Going for the pin there. One. Only a one count. Hmm. Uh oh. Calling for her to get up. Thought she was going to do something there, but what is she going for? Going for it. a nice suplex. Oh, oh, she's she's holding on. She's going for. Where's she going for? And now back suplex. Ooh. Okay, doing a little something different. I thought she was going for the three amigos. Where's she going for? Oh, ooh. She says you're not even worth my time. Excuse me, she is crazy, and then she goes for the kick. Goodness, oh my god! Oh, what is she doing? I guess Nina Letter doesn't care about the kick. Oh, she tried to go for the spear again, people. Did you see that? She tried to go for the spear again, but Princess had that scouted. She had that scouted. What did she go? Oh, is she going for the body slam? Oh man. Two. Oh. Oh, she tried to go for a kick again. A snap suplex. All right. Two, three, and man, oh man, Nina Letter, like I said, is, and I'm sorry guys, I didn't see how exactly Nina Letter got that, uh, that pin, because, you know, Jackson Montgomery texted me saying something, saying something very important, um, but man, Nina Letter is going to be a dominating force in the maintenance division, and I put money on that. I told you when she came out here, she looked serious. She looked like she was ready. They they shook hands, so I know it was a friendly competition. But one, two, oh, you see, look, hey, kick out, kick out. But look at Nina Letter, you know, this is crazy. Like she deserves to. She deserves to celebrate. That was an amazing match by the two of them. Man, oh man. I was surprised with both of these women's matches. I can't wait to see this main event. I don't know how. I don't know how. We got the hit squad coming out. You know what I'm saying? These guys are... Wow. Okay. Look at these two right here. So basically, it's William Parker with James Lonza going against Ryan Adams tonight. So this is I, I'm already expecting the best of the best right now. This show has started off pretty damn good and just continued to become better and better or became better and better you know so i'm definitely expecting this match to be the best match of the night
the show stealer. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm guessing this is the man. I don't even know if he really. Oh, there it is. Ryan Adams. That man here. He, <laughs> he's got to be ready. He's got to be ready. Oof. I'm liking his hairstyle. It's pretty dope. It's unique. You know, it's unique. I want to thank Jackson Montgomery and CM Puma for allowing me to have this opportunity to commentate these four matches tonight. And also for having Showdown so we can have more so other superstars have a chance to show what they have in the ring. Or on commentary like myself. And th this is, I honestly just want to say thank you to both of them for allowing this to happen. And let's do this. Oh. One. Well, William Parker putting his hand out. Doesn't look like... Ryan. Oh, and it was just a decoy as he punches Ryan Adams in the face. And this is how we're going to start off the match. Okay. And we... Oh, my God. William Parker starting off the... The match with a backbreaker. And... Ooh, a nice... Nice move by William Parker. William Parker, he, he's showing a dominating force. He did get a cheap shot in there, so I don't really like that, to be honest. And that's not really fair, but hey, it happens. Ryan Adams got to adjust to that. And oh my god, and that elbow, that didn't look too good. That didn't look too good at all. What is he going for? He's going for a nice neck drop. Laying him down. Okay, Ryan Adams is fighting back. He's going for a snap suplex. Okay, he's got a little chin lock action going, but it looks like William Parker's gonna. Oh my. Oh, he tried to go for another neck breaker, but nope. Ryan Adams is not having that. What's he going for? A double underhook. Double underhook suplex. Oh, and he tossed him. Salad. And oh my goodness, people. That's a big man to be tossing like that. And now he's putting a knee to his face. And man, now he's just throwing him off the ropes and going for a pin right there. One. Only a one count. You gotta do more than that to take down William Parker. Because William Parker is a big boy. Oh, oh my god, and a belly to belly, people! Whew! I don't know. That man right now, he's been hitting the gym, huh? Now oh, I'm going for a, a neck breaker right there. Wow. It's like he's stalking William Parker in the match, to be honest. And oh my god! A diving elbow drop to a seated William Parker. I don't think that was kind of going for him, man. I know he got a cheap shot, but hey, you're better than that. Don't stoop to his level. Gosh. Oh my god. Ryan Adams is not having anything William Parker wants to throw at him. And James Lonzo throwing a... Oh, my God! Oh, my gosh. Ref! Ref! This man just put it... And he... And he just... And he... Oh, my God. If you guys are watching this, the Hit Squad literally just cheated and... Earned an easy win on Ryan Adams. If he kick, if William Parker picks up the win, and I just said, and this is not, you know what, young blood, I'm sorry, I cannot have that happen. We are, we're not having. Them. I don't want to have a match with young blood next week. I want William Parker and James Lonza versus the Cleaners next week, and I want Ryan Adams in our corner. CM Puma, Jackson Montgomery, make that match. Because that cannot ever happen again. We do not cheat for our wins. That was unacceptable. And I'll see you guys next week.
I'm Vice and I'm signing out.